the sun, our star, our life source, creating light and dark. A heavenly body worshipped by humans throughout their history. So near, and yet so far. Between the sun and us are Mercury and Venus. Earth, the blue planet, and its satellite, the moon, 240,000 miles away. Mankind's first step into the unknown, our first attempts to defy gravity. One giant step for mankind, almost trivial today, when we consider the scale of our solar system. Mars, the red planet, a symbol of fantasies and fears for centuries, but also a symbol of humankind's first research into extraterrestrial life forms. We need to observe to understand, understand to go on observing, and observe again before finally exploring. We're not the center of the solar system. We're just one single component of it, one amongst many others. Is the solar system, our solar system, just an initial step before the unknown? From the infinitely close to the infinitely distant. Pushing back the frontiers of knowledge a little further also means becoming aware of the vastness of our galaxy, its scale, its sheer complexity. Observing the first planets located outside our solar system, exoplanets, much more than another new discovery, a new way of comprehending and perceiving our galaxy. Size, mass, distance from their suns. So many planets in solar systems so different to ours, and yet so similar in their organization. And probably also in their beauty. Telluric, gaseous, with or without a satellite orbiting around them. Each new planet discovered brings us as many questions as it does answers. A quest for infinity, driven by a single question, are we alone? Who are we? Where do we come from? As if the answers to the fundamental questions of humankind's origins could also be found elsewhere. Somewhere on the edge of the galaxy. So we observe, we search, despite the distances involved, on Earth and in space. Distances measured on a scale that makes the length of a human life appear insignificant. Our imaginations can transport us to other solar systems, but it's still impossible to travel that far in reality, and will probably remain so for a long time to come. But it's in human nature to go on searching, harboring the hope of finally discovering a planet like our own, a planet on which we will perhaps finally find ourselves no longer confusing our need for discovery with a desire to conquest. 
and thinking back to what our blue planet once was. A complex, fragile equilibrium supporting what we value above all else, life. So why not dream of another world?